In this lesson, we're going to talk about the multinomial theorem, or uh, multinomial coefficients in particular. So in this uh, lesson, what we're doing is adding up three or more variables and raising them to some power n, which is bigger than or equal to 2. And the way we do that is if k is bigger than or equal to 3 and n is bigger than or equal to 2, we're going to let a k be an index set, uh, which is just the numbers 1 through k. And we're going to define the set of k tuples j of kn equals a1, a2, up to ak, uh, such that for all i and ak, ai is bigger than or equal to 0, and the sum over i and ai of the ai's equals n. Then the sum from i equals 1 to k of xi to the n is the sum over all tuples and j of kn of n choose a1, a2 to ak times the product from i equals 1 to k of the AIs. Looks incredibly complicated, right? And uh, we haven't even defined this choose with multiple terms. It just means to expand out multiple factorials. So this is n factorial over a1 factorial, a2 factorial, up to ak factorial. We're not going to try to prove this, and we won't dwell on the definition for long. But uh, when you look at some examples, you'll see that you can compute coefficients of particular terms, and you can also Double check yourself. So this is a useful tool for double checking yourself whenever you're multiplying out polynomials. So let's uh, take an example. We're going to use the multinomial theorem to compute x plus y plus z squared. So all that fancy notation above means something like this. So we, we have three variables that we're adding together, and we're going to raise them to a power. So x plus y plus z squared uh, could be expanded. Um, and so we have three terms and it's raised to the power 2. So we're looking at j, 3, 2 for our tuples, which means we have three points, and they're all bigger than or equal to 0, and they all have to add up to 2. So for example, we have 2, 0, 0, which adds to 2, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 2, and then we could do like a 1, 1, 0, which adds to 2, 1, 0, 1, and 0, 1, 1. So it's just all the ways to add to 2 with tuples of size 3. And the sum, uh, which we expand here, is we have 2, choose 2, 0, 0, x to the 2, y to the 0, z to the 0. So notice the 2, 0, 0 is in two places. It's in the choose, and it's also these exponents. This is 2, 0, 0. Then we go to the next term in this tuple, which is 0, 2, 0. So we do a 2, choose 0, 2, 0, and then we have a 0, 2, 0 in the exponents. And then we have 0, 0, 2, so we're going to have 2 choose 0, 0, 2, and then we have 0, 0, 2 in the exponents. Then we do the same with the 1s, so the 1, 1, 0, and the 1, 1, 0. Corresponds to this 1, 1, 0. So we're summing over all the tuples in this j, uh, 3, 2. Now we use the formula here, so 2 choose 2, 0, 0 is 2 factorial over 0 factorial, 0 factorial and x to the 2, y to the 0, y to z to the 0 is just x squared. Right, so this term corresponds to this. And then we go to the next term, which corresponds to the next term above. So the 2 choose 0 to 0 means 2 factorial over 0 factorial, 2 factorial, 0 factorial. x to the 0, y to the 2, z to the 0 is just y squared. So we go down term by term and plug these in. We'll have some uh, with the 1s. So the, let's look at the last term here, which is these two terms that correspond to each other. Uh, 2 choose 0, 1, 1 is 2 factorial over 1 factorial, 0 factorial, 1 factorial, 1 factorial. We have x to the 0, y to the 1, z to the 1 is just yz. And then computing all these factorials, uh, the two factorials cancel, 0 factorials 1. This just gives us x squared. Similar here, we have just y squared, just z squared. And then here, oops, this is a 2 factorial, of course. Um, we have 2 factorial over 1, 1, 1, so it's 2 over 1, which is 2. And this is 2xy, 2xz, and 2yz. So x plus y plus z squared uh, isn't so hard to compute, and you might think this is a lot of hoops to jump through just to get uh, x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus 2xy plus 2xz plus 2yz. So, Let's look at another example where this might be uh, more useful to apply. So let's take um, 
2x minus y plus 3z minus 2 to the sixth power. And we're not going to try to expand the entire thing, but we just want to find the coefficient of xy squared. So if you multiply this out, there's going to be an x and a y squared and a, a bunch of 2 somewhere without a z. So there's an xy squared term. And what is the coefficient? Well, there are four terms in the sum, and the sum is raised to the power 6. So we would have to use j for 6. So we need the numbers to add up to 6, right? Uh, and there has to be four numbers. So the way to do that is we would have, um, well, we want an x because we want x to the first power. So when we're trying to get x, y squared, that's like x to the 1, y to the 2, we're going to take the 2x, the 2x here, and raise that 2x to the 1. We're going to take the minus y, take that minus y and raise it to the 2. The 3z is going to be raised to the 0, and the minus 2 then has to be raised to whatever power uh, will give us 6, right? So we have, we've used 1, we've used 2, we've used 0. That adds up to 3, so the minus 2 has to be the third power, and that adds up to 6, since everything is to the sixth power. So with those coefficients, we have 6 choose 1, 2, 0, 3. Since we need 1, 2x, 2 negative y's, 0, 3z's, and 3 negative 2's. And that is 6 factorial over 1 factorial, 2 factorial, 0 factorial, 3 factorial, which equals 60. So we get 60, 2x to the 1's, negative y squared, 3z's to the 0, and negative 2 to the 3rd, which when multiplied out is negative 960 xy squared. So the coefficient of xy squared is negative 960. You can see that uh, it's a lot easier to find the coefficient of xy squared that way than trying to multiply out uh, this entire polynomial 2x minus y plus 3z minus 2 to the sixth power and seeing what you eventually end up with.